Brian, thank you. There are a lot of fast moving developments today concerning the coronavirus. Yeah, this morning for Scythe County taking extra steps to limit exposure to the virus. And this move comes after two city workers and a child have been exposed to it. Yeah, the city says no employee has tested positive for the virus, but two workers are now in self quarantine after coming in direct or indirect contact with an infected person. One of those workers also has a child who is exposed to the virus and is showing symptoms. Well, today, new state guidelines go into effect to slow the spread of coronavirus. Governor Roy Cooper is urging everyone in North Carolina to avoid large groups of people and employers should make plans to allow employees to work from home if it's possible. Well, as of this morning, the State Department of Health is counting 15 reported cases of coronavirus. 14 of those cases are presumptive positive, meaning further testing is required by the CDC. The 15th case has been confirmed positive by the CDC. Also, two school districts to our east will be closed on Monday. Orange County schools will close for three weeks. Durham Public Schools will close for an indefinite amount of time. No school systems here in the Piedmont Triad have announced closings. Well, some churches and congregations are making the call to cancel services this weekend. Leaders in the Latter-day Saints and United Methodist faiths have recommended that their congregations cancel for the next few weeks. Other churches across the Triad are also postponing worship this weekend. All well, organizers of Bluegrass and Roots Music Festival Merle Fest are expected to detail today what's going to happen to that event. The festival starts April 23rd at Wilkes Community College. The Merle Fest team says the decision will uh, come out by the close of business today. 804 with no ACC tournament. There won't be a tournament town festival in Greensboro. It was supposed to be tomorrow before the ACC championship game. Tonight's KC and the Sunshine Band concert at White Oak Amphitheater is also canceled, along with tailgate zone activities at Piedmont Hall. And the High Point Furniture Market is getting pushed back until June. It was slated to start in late April. The change is impacting the city from the loss of revenue coming in, from rentals to private social events and hotel bookings. The last time the furniture market was postponed was in 1942 due to World War II.